important lesson. It's about the stories and the storytelling. And I, I just, I really want like the WWE and the women's division to be better off because I was there. I'm gonna tell you what I've noticed, okay? Before we wrap up. First things first, I forgot to tell the world that Rhonda has a donkey. <laughs> a donkey. I don't wanna dig into it, I just want y'all to know she has a donkey. What I've noticed is that your story is such a f- dope story. For you, for you, because you think I'm a bitch, I'm going to put my shoulders in, all right? Okay. Here we go. Hmm? Never before. Never before. <laughs> that was a clip from Kevin Hart's series, Cold as Balls. You can check out new episodes on laughoutloud.com. Kevin, welcome to Hello. Undisputed. Wait a second. <laughs> you didn't put your shoulders in against me when I sat in that tub. It was different. A few right? months ago because different. you were afraid you would start losing even worse it if was you different. put your shoulders it in. Am I was right? different with Rousey. It was yeah. different. There was a little bit of fear. Uh, that was in my heart. Uh, there were some threats that y'all didn't see there. Now, did they show the donkey just now? Did they show? Okay, let me make sure that people okay. understand. She really does have a donkey. Really? And I know there's a there's a community uh, where we used to refer to donkey as a, as a behind yeah. on a woman. I want to make sure it's very clear. I'm talking about a real donkey. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay? Thank make, you. That's very clear. I appreciate it. It's that. a live donkey that she owns. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about a butt. Okay, let me clear. You got to clear it up. Everything has to be cleared up. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now go ahead and we can dig into it. So I I want people to understand that the object of cold as balls is to put somebody in the tub, like me, Mm -hmm. and you freeze their you-know-what's off, and after a while, their brain freezes, and they they can't fight you anymore. And then you just try to run over them. It's almost like what what happened to you. You just just lasted a little longer. I lasted the whole time, unfortunately for you. Skip, what you love to do is debate. (laughs) You think facts equal right, and they don't. (laughs) I think they do. Comes with, he comes with facts and percentages, and he thinks that the facts and percentages can equal <laughs> mental persuasion yep. to ultimately say, Skip, you're right. But when you go up against a weapon named Kevin Hart, uh, you're dealing with more than that. You're dealing with personality, yeah. and you're dealing with charm. And I was able to flip some of those facts on, and, 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 and come and Skip in a way that he's never been hit before. Mm. And he got bad for a little bit. You took a couple punches, Skip. Mm. You definitely took a couple punches. Mm. I don't remember you any of those. You took some punches, not, Skip. Not one of I dug into Skip's career. Mm-hmm. That's what I dug into. Mm-hmm. Right. Nobody else is dug into. Well, I'll, I'll right. just dug into what happened this last football season. Go. And the last time I checked, my go. Dallas Cowboys <laughs> beat the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles go. twice. Here we go. Twice. How could that go. happen to the defending champs? Here we go. Carson Wentz, yeah. W-I-N-C-E, because yeah. you wince every time you watch yeah. Carson Wentz. Okay. Am I right about that? I knew this was coming, yeah. Skip. Okay. You didn't think I knew this was coming, you, Shannon? You I knew no this was coming. coming. No, we come. I'm well prepared yeah. for this moment, okay? First mm-hmm. of all, when you faced us the first game, yeah. we weren't the same Eagles that we were last season. Mm. We were still developing. We were trying to find ourselves. For some reason, we lost our mojo, mm. which is understandable. Mm. It happens. Mm. When you lose your mojo, the best thing in the world is to find it. And guess what we did, Skip? Mm. We somehow found it. We somehow picked ourselves up and we put it together. With we put the backup on, quarterback. We, I don't refer to that man as a backup oh, quarterback. I refer to that man as the heart and soul of that football team. Thank you. Okay? I, I agree. I refer to him as the heart and soul of that football team. But I also do understand and respect my starting quarterback, oh. Carson Wentz. I will not let the media try to destroy our unit. Because that's what they do. They try to destroy you. They try to put you up against each other. That's what the public does as a man who's been under. That's what he tries to do. I've been under public fire before, so I know how to handle it. Uh. So I want to make sure that my two quarterbacks know how to handle this moment. Understand it's a big moment for both of you. I want the best for Carson Wentz. I want the best for Nick Foles. But what I want people to do is understand and respect Nick Foles and what he did. Who's the better quarterback? Who's the better quarterback? Carson Wentz is the better quarterback. He is not the better quarterback. Nick Foles, under pressure, Uh responded and became a great quarterback. Thank you. Now, that doesn't mean that Carson Wentz is not an amazing quarterback Mm. because he is. Carson Wentz gave us an amazing football season. Mm. An amazing football season. Yeah. Carson Wentz. After that football season got hurt and didn't play for I don't know how many how many weeks or months or whatever. Coming back, he's going to be rusty. He's not going to be the same Carson Wentz that got us a, a crazy string of wins without losses. Mm-hmm. So I, I get the rust. Then he got hurt again. Nick Foles is used to coming in and say, oh, my God, I get to respond again. Yeah. I get to be great again. And he did that. He stepped up to the plate. Unfortunately, this year we didn't get it done. But that man showed that he is a pressure. It wasn't Nick Foles' fault. 
It was Alshon's fault. fault. It went right through Alshon Jeffrey's hands. I'm not right? going to deny that that play could not have changed the game. Uh, you that got we, that right. That we, that we could have possibly moved on. Mm-hmm. But it didn't happen. So, naturally, you move on from it. Now you're Jeffries stuck. Is a, Jeffries is a great receiver, yeah. and he had an amazing game. No, he did. I agree second with half, that. Second half, we didn't have a great game. First half, he had an amazing game. We were moving. But now we you're going to have to let Nick Foles go win someplace else, and you're going to be stuck with Carson Wentz, who's never taken one snap in one playoff game. He used the word stuck. Mm-hmm. So you're going to be stuck with Carson Stuck Wentz. with him. Great quarterback. You said he was mm-hmm. great. He, he, you see what he's doing? Mm-hmm. I see. We're not stuck. With Carson Wentz. <laughs> so I want you to remove that word, okay? You, you stuck, know in the back of your mind, makes it I, seem like I nailed stuck it. Stuck yeah. makes it seem like we're in a bad place. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. We're not in a bad place. And I'm going to back the decision of our GM, of our coaches. I'm going to ride with them because that's what real fans and supporters do. That is correct. You don't, you don't, you don't go against and create more conflict. If the decision has been made to go with Carson Wentz, then daggone it, we're going to go with him and mm-hmm. we're going to ride. Yep. And we're going to be okay. And Nick Foles. Whatever opportunity comes that man's way, it's going to be an amazing opportunity that's well deserved. It. Yeah. So with that it. being said, the Eagles will still fly. The, they'll, they'll, <laughs> we will still <laughs> fly. Is that how they sound? <laughs> that sounds like I a like dying it. eagle you, to I me. Got <laughs> <laughs> I got eagles that fly over my house every morning. Do you? Know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what yeah. I hear. Yeah. We will still fly. They're a little horse. Yeah. Well, we will still be okay. This year didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. No, it didn't. Last year sure did. Yes, it did. What was that moment like for you? Are you are you talking about beating the Patriots? Be, what, winning the Super Bowl, regardless Super Bowl. of who you beat. Okay, Wait, regardless of who you beat. Both of them, both of them. Yeah, let's, let's just dig into it. Okay. You know, um, I'm a man of history. I love witnessing history. I love making history. Um, I think Tom Brady is, you know, greatest quarterback to do it, man. Thank and you. And he was in a position to make more history. Right. And to see history made by preventing history that was supposed to be made and being personally attached to the history that was made... I don't think it gets any better. Yeah. I, I don't think it gets any better. I remember on bottle number three of tequila, <laughs> all right? This is bottle number three. Bottle number three. Mm-hmm. Bottle number three because I was having that good of a time. Mm-hmm. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I, I saw and I was witnessing the Philadelphia Eagles do what they did. My city is finally getting this. It's just due. We are finally shining. This is long overdue. Since I've been around, I haven't seen this. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I get to say that I was a part of it. Best day of my life. <laughs> Flying. I'm all over the place. You almost got on the podium. Almost. So cool. Almost. Stupidest thing I ever tried to do. Thank God to have security. Okay? What would been, happen if you got on the stage? It could have been career damage. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got on that stage. I would have <laughs> fell off. Who knows what I was there? Got up there and start cussing. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I'm glad it didn't happen. But I'm glad that the win came my way. And this year, it would have been nice to get back there. It would have been nice to get back there and do the Ooh, same Super Bowl thing. in Atlanta. Can you imagine? Oh, that? my goodness. Uh, you know, I already had a suite on hold. You did? Yeah, I had. I already made the calls. <laughs> hey, uh, two things. First, I want y'all to talk to the security staff. <laughs> let, them know, let them know this year, if it happens, I'm going to need to get through. That's the first mm-hmm. thing. Okay. Uh, but, you know, um, I may still go. I don't know. It, it depends on, on who's playing. It's just a bittersweet because I felt like we should have been back there. So, so it's know. starting to feel like Tom Brady might get back there. The New England Patriots might get back there yet again. What are the key words in that sentence? Might. There you go. Yeah. Meaning that it doesn't have to happen. So are you betting against the New England Patriots at Kansas City? I want to make this perfectly clear. Once again, I'm a man that loves history. Yeah. I would love to see Tom Brady add more to his dynasty. Mm. But then on the flip side of that, you got another individual that can make history as well. Yeah, Pat Mahomes, my homeboy. You got another individual that can make history as well. Mm. Now, I'm not saying out with the old and in with the new. But I'm saying that when the new is coming through with the confidence that this man has... There is no, I don't think there's a better situation to root for. Young quarterback. Yeah. Young quarterback, young black quarterback. Get in there. Mm-hmm. Do it. Do it. Yep. Get it done. Yep. Great history. I'm going to ride with you, brother. Mm-hmm. And at the end of it, I'm going to say, man, I can't wait to talk to Skip. <laughs> <laughs> so you are rooting for Patrick Mahomes. I am rooting for Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Make history. This doesn't and, mean that I... And rooting against you. Yeah, you you are betting against the one man you in keep sports. Saying betting. You, you keep saying do betting. not bet betting, against. Betting makes it You're seem betting like your pride. investment. You're betting your national rooting. TV pride. I'm rooting. Yeah. I'm rooting. Okay. I, everybody has the right okay. to root. Well, you, you openly admitted right that you're rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay. Well, you act like that's a bad situation if I want to say who I'm rooting for. Is it possible <laughs> that in your heart of hearts you have some hate for the New England Patriots just because you're sick and tired of them being in the Super Bowl? You think I have hate? 
for the New England Patriots because they were caught cheating and doing all <laughs> that. <laughs> that there is some hate in it. Do you think that I have a uh, vindictive bone in my body to go yes, taking I air do. out of footballs is wrong? Whoa. Doing other things? Whoa. A coach sneaking and understanding what the plays are for another one by having uh. spies? I No, not me. That's not, that's not in my body. I want the Patriots to do whatever they have to do to win. Some people want every advantage that they can get. The New England mm -hmm. Patriots, those people? I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, I'm they just... sure didn't <laughs> cheat against your Eagles last year because your Eagles scored 41. Well, that's because they had to play honest. Yeah. <laughs> Not saying that they played <laughs> dishonest before. I'm just <laughs> saying when forced to play honest, mm -hmm. uh, maybe things are different. I think uh, this year we've seen a football team honestly having a very amazing season. I've seen Tom Brady do what he normally does, which is just simply impress and be great. But then I'm watching Kansas City in the first hump that they needed to get by, they got by. The Kansas City Chiefs didn't do what they normally do, which is fold in the postseason that in that first game. The confidence level that I'm seeing in that football team and in that quarterback is like no other. Mm. I'm a confident guy, Skip. Mm. I know what confidence I does. That. Yeah. I, I, I can tell an individual by how they carry themselves. Yeah. Your shoulders. Yeah. Shoulders say a lot. Shannon, every time I see you on this show, your shoulders are broad. You're here. When you talk to Skip, you're here, Shannon. Yeah. Some people, some people come right here and they're slunched. Yeah. That's a defeated individual. You get? You're that's, defeated that's, right there. That's how you come on this I show. I come here so it's prideful <laughs> and upright every time. Yeah. That quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, mm. I've, yes, not I, seen, I've not seen that many shoulders yeah. slouch one really? time. Really? All I know is I still got the best quarterback in the NFC East, and that's is all I care about. Yes, he is. Mm. Yep. Right. Is he really yes, he the is. best quarterback? Dak Prescott is the best quarterback. He said that out loud. Yep. Wow. He says it a he lot is. around here. Wow. He proved it again. He beat Carson Wentz twice this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Game I over. I Game over. I will say this about Dak.